Hey, welcome back to AJM Learn CSS Hacks. Today, I'm gonna show you how to style the drop-down menu. Um, one of many things that Squarespace refuses to give us built-in settings for. So this is the normal drop-down menu. It, I guess, inherits some sort of style, but there's no like hover effect. It's really squished. Um, in my scenario here, because I use a dark background, you like can't even see the drop-down menu. So let's fix it. Um, the main code here helps you style it. So I'll paste that in. Um, I've already set this up to be styled how I want it to be styled, but I'll kind of walk you through it. So you can, of course, as always, play, this all works. It'll plug in, work great. You can play around with the padding if you wanted there to be more or less spacing there. Um, you can play around with, so here is the background and then the color of the font. And then here's the background on hover and the color of the font on hover. So you can see I have this teal color and then when I hover, it switches to yellow with the black font. So that's how you do it. Hover items here, non-hover items here. Super simple, so we have that. Um, one other thing I don't love is that you can click on this part of the drop-down menu, kind of that folder title. Um, I don't want people to click on, in this case, test. If they clicked on it, of course, it's not gonna work. If they clicked on it, um, while you know not logged in, whatever, it would take them to test one. It would take them to the first page in the folder. And I tend to not like that unless it's like a nice generic page for it to go to. So a next thing I always like to do, almost always, is take that off. So you can see now the cursor has actually changed and it's not clickable. So no longer can you click on this, which is great. Um, last thing, which I think honestly, I might have this already put on my site because it's not here. Um, but you can remove the active underline. So normally your active, or you know what? It's because we're not on an active page. Let me show you. So you're going to sneak peek into something that's about to be launched. But you see that there is an active underline. Uh, if we just paste this piece of code in, no longer an active underline. All right, that's it. As always, really simple. Hope you like it.